Welcome to the FAA's Rulebook Analysis, your bite-sized video guide to help you understand the decision-making processes of the Governance Department in relation to on- and off-field issues. This video is going to explain County FA disciplinary procedures. A County FA will issue a misconduct charge when an incident is reported which doesn't fall under the standard dismissal offences or is a serious offence. For example, if a player is dismissed from the field of play for violent conduct, but before leaving the field of play uses abusive or insulting comments towards a match official. The player would receive a standard automatic ban for the violent conduct and the second offence of making abusive or insulting comments towards a match official would lead to a separate misconduct charge. A charge for misconduct doesn't always require a report from a match official. If there has been an incident which a coach, player or spectator has witnessed, this should be notified in writing to the County Association for further investigation. After reviewing the evidence, the County FA has the ability to raise any charges they deem appropriate based on the reports they have received. A discipline commission will be arranged to consider all misconduct charges. Should a charge be raised, those that have submitted reports become witnesses on behalf of the Football Association and may be required to attend a hearing. In all such cases, the County FA would issue correspondence to the recipient of the charge containing the following documents. A charge sheet explaining the details of the charge levied against them, a response sheet detailing options to respond to the charge, and any reports or evidence on which the charge is based. The club participant or league has to complete the paperwork and respond to the County FA within 14 days, including any relevant administration or hearing fees. The recipient of the charge can choose to either admit or deny the charge, and upon deciding this, whether they wish to attend the Discipline Commission so they can present their denial or admittance of the charge in person. Alternatively, they can choose not to attend and have their case dealt with purely using the paperwork or evidence submitted. If the charge is accepted and the participant has requested that the case is dealt with in their absence, the Commission will consider written plea for leniency, along with the disciplinary record from the previous five years. The Commission will impose any punishment they deem appropriate and send notification in writing of the decision. If the charge is accepted and the participant has requested that they wish to make a verbal plea of leniency at a hearing, then the County Association will arrange and inform the participant of the hearing date. A Commission will consider the verbal mitigation, which could include their previous disciplinary history, and impose a punishment they deem appropriate. The charge has already been accepted, so the match official's report will not be able to be contested. If the participant denies the charge but requests that the case is dealt with in their absence, the Commission will consider the submitted written denial and information provided. Should the Commission find the case not proven, then the case is concluded with no further action taken and the details being removed from the participant's record. However, if the Commission decide the case is proven, they will consider the participant's previous five-year history and decide on an appropriate punishment. If a charge is denied and a personal hearing is requested, the participant needs to provide a full list of witnesses who will be attending and outline the reasons why the hearing has been requested. A hearing will be arranged for the case to be heard with the participant and all relevant witnesses attending. The individuals that have submitted reports on which the charge is based will also be in attendance. Again, should the Commission find the case not proven, the case is concluded with no further action taken and the details being removed from the participant's record. Details of what to expect at a disciplinary hearing is the subject of another video analysis. However, if the charge is proved by the Commission, then the participant is offered an opportunity to provide further mitigation. The Commission then considers the participant's previous five-year history and decides on an appropriate punishment. The participant may be informed of the decision on the evening or the Commission may choose to inform you of the decision by post. If the participant is satisfied with the outcome, then they will complete the paperwork and return it to the County Association within the time period stated with the appropriate monies. Punishments can be appealed if they exceed two matches and or a £25 fine. Anyone wishing to lodge an appeal must notify the Football Association within 14 days of the date on the notification letter. A player who receives a match suspension as a result of a misconduct charge is unable to participate in any football until the team he was playing for when charged completes the amount of fixtures as imposed by the Discipline Commission. 